member for Vancouver Falls Creek. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Proceed. Sorry, technical challenge. Please proceed. I speak to you today from the traditional territory of the Coast Salish people, the Squamish, Musqueam, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. I rise in the House today for the first time, and I want to thank the voters of Vancouver Falls Creek for putting their trust in me. Thank you to all who made this lifelong goal a reality. There are literally thousands of outstanding not-for-profits doing vital work in our province, including here in my riding of Vancouver Falls Creek. I'd like to take a moment to highlight one of the longest standing, the YWCA Metro Vancouver. Established in 1897, the YWCA's vision is to achieve women's equality and its mission is to touch lives and build better futures. The YWCA serves women and their families with 66 programs in 75 locations across the Lower Mainland. And we know that women and new Canadians have been disproportionately affected by the pandemic and the YWCA is there. I want to tell you a story about Nida and she's given permission for me to share her story. Nida is a newcomer to Canada and a mom who spent several years out of the workforce. As a participant in the YWCA's Tech Connect, Nida was matched with a mentor, a senior software developer at Amazon Web Services. Prior to enrolling in the Tech Connect program, Nida was struggling with how to proceed with her job search. She had withdrawn from a PhD program at McGill University several years earlier when she became pregnant and had been out of the workforce for multiple years and was struggling to re-engage. Nita's mentor quickly identified her skill set and provided her with clarity on what roles to target in her job search. Her mentor also let her know about Microsoft's LEAP program, an immersive six to eight month program that provides professional women in technology the opportunity to re-enter the workforce after an extended absence. Tech Connect supported Nita through the application process by providing her mock interviews and coaching, and Nita's efforts paid off. She joined Microsoft as a project manager this past fall. 